Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Metropolis in the city of Weston in the month of January in a new year. There was like a Happy New Year animation, but I kind of missed it because I had to start the recording up. But uh, yeah, uh, we kind of limped our way into the year, uh, as you can see by our financial situation. But currently, uh, we have like a little over 2,000 jobs and a little under 2,000 places available. So this episode is probably going to be me either making very minimal like changes or doing nothing at all more than likely because I haven't received any type of interest payments or anything like that. So we're kind of in a rut and I don't really know whether we can get ourselves out and my approval rating is steadily falling but it's like there's nothing that I can really do at this point. Like residents proud of clean city. I don't know what that just what just happened there. Did we actually make money this month? It seems like because we just went from negative forty-two to uh, we might actually be making money for once. I think in terms of our uh, income, but I can't. I still can't tell because it's it's still like that. But you know, I guess we'll find out eventually. My mayor score is like three thousand nine hundred twenty-two, and the economy is good for right now. It was very good for a little bit, but then it kind of went back down. So. Yeah, I, I don't understand why my approval rating keeps falling. I guess the economy isn't doing too well, but that's not... You can't pin that all on me at this point. Like, I am one city. The global economy is a whole different issue. I feel like... Let's see. Is it... Is... I was going to say, is Rick Rogers gaining on me at this point? Because I feel like he is. Yeah, he's at 27%. They're both kind of gaining on me at this point. But I guess we should be okay for now. Let's see. It's still not showing anything different, but I'm assuming we actually are a profitable city now, considering that we went from 42 million to negative negative 42 million to negative 39. So I'm thinking we're making about maybe three million dollars a month, which is pretty good, you know, because I'm pretty sure when we started out we were definitely losing money. So we did fix that part or that aspect of things, but uh, still got a long ways to go. It seems like if I can make it that far, let me go ahead and sell off some of the power. I kind of, like, since the economy is supposed to be doing so bad, I almost want to just let it tank and just literally, like, sell off the uh, power in the water for higher prices. But, I mean, I don't know. Breaking monkeys freed in Daring Raid. How many monkeys do we have to free in these raids? Like, how many times have we done these raids? No, we are not doing that. We don't have enough money for that. Negative four, freaking $40 million for that upgrade. No, thank you. I literally only own one building now at this point, and uh, it's it's this building right here for $8 million, and I'm thinking about selling it too, just in case I need to be able to afford to uh, put up some more houses or something like that. I'm thinking City Museum in Edmonton has, uh, has been commended for showing an ever-increasing range of exhibits. I guess it's a good thing I did that upgrade then, right? Yeah, the economy, the global economy is stagnating and everything, and everything's just going freaking south, and there's nothing that I can really do. You know, we got some more monkeys being freed in raids. Good lord, too many god dang monkeys being freed. I'm trying to think. Let's see, we have 78,000 people. I thought that we would possibly get a, uh, I thought that we would possibly get a, uh, what's, what's the thing called? Uh, like a payment for 75,000, but I'm assuming maybe we won't get another one until like maybe 80, or maybe, I don't know, maybe we won't get another one until 100,000, which I hope not because I could really use the money. And I hope it's more than $10 million. Like, I hope it's at least 25 or something like that. Because I really could use $25 million about right now. <laughs> then again, can't we all? Ugh. Unemployment, yeah, unemployment's still at 0%. I mean, I feel like I'm doing okay. You know, all things considered. Journalist questions, mayor ethics. Yeah, we, we know, we know. They do this all the time. It's nothing different than it has been in the past. Global economy outlook is moderate. That's better than it's been because lately it's they've been saying it's looking poor and looks like everything's just gonna freaking crash so maybe things might start to get a little bit better soon i don't know and then maybe people will get happy because our economy is going to get better too empire theater needs investment i already invested in empire theater we're not doing another investment we can't afford it it's another nine million dollars which technically i could afford but is it really worth that investment i don't think so I guess we could find out, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that at the moment. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the housing places because I feel like that's the situation I'm going to have to deal with first uh, before unemployment. 
So let's see. We're at 70, 78,480. Getting ever so close. Like the population growth is actually slowing down a little bit, which is, I guess, a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. It's it's good because it allows me to not have to worry about jobs and housing for a little bit. But it's kind of bad because it's like, hey, if I could get some money at 80000 I would prefer to go ahead and do that and just get there. Traffic violation reported in Acacia Grove. I did hire some more uh, police officers. I got up to 56 and 28 uh, police vehicles. But I think I need to hire some more. Uh, I think I need to hire some more traffic police. So we'll get 40. That's an increase of 10. We, uh... We've slowly been dropping off our crime totals, but we already have five for this month, and it's literally, what, the fifth day in? But one crime per day is not really that bad. I feel like the people in this city overreact to, like, the amount of crime. When you think about it, this city has 78,000 people in it. And for us to only have 40 incidents of crime is pretty, is pretty, like, pretty small. Like, for a city this big. Uh, bidding is currently taking place to host the One World Music Festival. We believe a bid of 3.4, uh, 3.9 million dollars would secure this event. <sighs> you know, I've never seen the reward of this, but maybe, I guess, maybe it helps. I don't know. It takes us to negative 43 million dollars. I don't know. I really don't think that's going to help at all. I did get that offer for a comedian again, too, and I definitely declined that, because I definitely don't see the benefit in that. So... I think mm, I'm getting ever so closer to selling this freaking building off. I think that is the only one that I have. I sold off the winery too, which is a little bit unfortunate, <laughs> but it's it's still there. Shoplifting reported in the Docklands. I really should get some. I wish I could get some surveillance and things going, but that costs way too much for me right now. Eventually, I probably will. I, I've tried. I've still kind of been focusing on my rebuilding of like the uh, northwest part of town. Uh, over here near the beach so I've been kind of doing that most of my apartment buildings have gone up over there I think I put another one up kind of on the corner here somewhere because I couldn't fit it over here because it was uh, I needed a small actually I could have put it right there it was like it was kind of blocked off so I couldn't see it but I ended up putting it right here next to the uh, next to the clinic which isn't too bad I mean now it kind of becomes part of I guess the city stadium development project if that was ever really a thing <laughs> if that was ever really a thing trying to think of some other things I could put up around here then again I'm probably gonna get fired soon <laughs> so I don't need to be really doing too much planning city gallery unable to attract quality exhibits why not I mean didn't we upgrade the city gallery Santa Monica gallery I'm pretty sure we upgraded one of those if they're not the same thing 3,983 mayor score 3,985 I my approval rating keeps dropping and it's bothering me what is your philosophy on healthcare in the city uh I think it should be subsidized. That there you go. That's that's my that's my opinion for right now. All right, they've uh they still got me uh extreme left in terms of po a political position and the economy is now moderate. Uh, like I said, I can't really do much. We need more places now. We have 400 places left. We're almost about to hit 80,000. I'm gonna go ahead and uh as my probably my last move as mayor of the city. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell off the uh, the car park and then build up a set of apartments. I think that's that's gonna be the move. Uh, let's see, eight point three million dollars. All right, let's do it. Fire me. Go ahead and do it. I'm gonna put it up over here. This is literally gonna put me so close to the edge. So close to the edge. And there you go. Fifty negative fifty eight million dollars. <laughs> I can't do anything right now. Absolutely anything. I am stuck. But we do have 3,000 places now. So that's, I guess that's the bright side of things. Possibly, maybe. Or is there really a bright side at this point? I don't think there is. Experts urge mayor to boost the economy. Well, listen. I could boost the economy if, if, if I had money. But I don't because the city was in such bad state when I got here. So don't expect me to be able to do much. I don't. If I can survive this, I don't think I will actually win the election at this point because I feel like I'm going to be forced to just sit still for so long that my approval rating is just going to fall through the freaking dumps at this point. I think I, let's see, I want to go ahead and hire some more teachers though. Uh, 
Let's see. We get... There you go. Bring the class sizes back down to, like, uh, 20. There you go. That works. Uh, we'll hire some more doctors. Jesus, that's a lot more money than I really needed to spend. And again, I'm not actually spending it. It'll show up, like, next month or something like that. I could sell this right back off, which is what I'm probably going to do. Uh, the most recent satisfaction survey shows that most people are fairly content with taxes in the city. Keep checking this survey for more important information about the thoughts and feelings of our residents. I do that all the time, you know. Uh, you would think that if, if my approval rating was dropping, uh, that my mayor score would not continually be increasing, but it is. So, I was thinking about how much we would make if we sold off our shares, but not much. We only have 100000 so, yeah, can't really, there's no point in me really doing that either, so. <laughs> great. Just great. Let's see, we got about 1,500 jobs left. We can hold steady for a little bit there. I'm thinking I'm gonna sell back off the apartment complex for right now. Brings us a negative 46 million. Aboriginal art at the city museum. I need 80,000 people. 80,000. It's the number I'm shooting for now. We only had like 70 people apparently. I mean, 90 people. Was that? I still don't understand why this is a daily thing. I'm assuming it is, because it seems like the the population moves up quite a bit. I'm going to assume. Pretty soon we'll be there though. Auto save. Mayor score 3,990. Economy is still moderate. Financial incentives will boost tourism. Let me see if I can make some more policy decisions to maybe help boost the economy at all. Don't think I could. That's not policy decisions. This is the policy department. Here we go. Let's see. I don't think there's really much that I could do. Infrastructure. Psychopaths already have that. Transport link ensures transportation runs to maximum efficiency. I already have the small business support going. I mean, what else is there that I can really do? We could try and help boost tourism some more. Uh, let's do the clean. Uh, let's do the clean beach program. I like that. All right, and we'll also do the the star rating scheme. We're not giving people refunds. Okay, that's not happening. <laughs> I need the money. All right, we we cannot afford to to give people refunds at this point. Sirens are sounding. I don't know. Let's see. We're currently at 13 crimes already for this month. And we're 10 days in. So now we're a little bit over the one crime per day quota. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But, you know, like I said, as long as we keep it under 40, which is what it was last month, then I'm, I'm pleased with it. I don't really care too much. <laughs> I don't really care too much. 79,603 people. We grew at 240 people either today or yesterday. One or the other. Trade count. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Trade. They recommended something, though. That's all I know. Proof of rating is at 41%. Uh, I can't afford for it to drop off too much more. I, I can't remember what was the level. I think about 30% or 35% is where they start to overtake me. Or is it 36? One or the other, you know. The thing about it is, though, is that luckily there are two of them. So the, the approval is split between them. Because otherwise, I'd be in trouble if they combined together, you know? <laughs> I'd be done for. I'd be absolutely done for. Then again, maybe I do need to be done for because I can't half run this city. We're so close. It's like 130, 133 people away. I just need it. I, I'm i waiting on some type of payments. Like I, It's 12 days in and there's nothing that has happened so far. I don't know, maybe we got too many payments early on and now we're not getting any more and they're just like, forget you. <laughs> We've already given you like 50 or like 100 million dollars and you just absolutely blew it. You know what? <laughs> forget you. Oh, there we go, right on time. Uh, our population has exceeded 80,000 uh, 80, people, so we just received national government grant of additional 20 million dollars. Thank God, I needed that. Uh, let's see. I'm not in any exact need to do anything at the moment, but I'm still trying to figure out, uh, let's see. You know, since this is only a million dollars and provides us with 3,000 places, I will definitely do that. I, I, I usually take those whenever I can because it costs way more to provide 3,000 places in this game. You know, the apartments provide that much, but they're like 14 million, so it's like if I can get it for 1 million, why not do it, especially if I can afford it. Now, I remember I saw something about... Let's see, how much is the H2O treatment plant? They were talking about they were I saw a thing that was like they were they were tired of uh <laughs> tired of swimming in sewage. So 
I don't think I can actually afford the H2O treatment plant now that I think about it. I think it was like 28 million, so I definitely can't. <laughs> there was also, I wanted to put up a refuse collection center, which I think is just like a, is that like a landfill? There's a, there's a landfill separately. Refuse collection center will cost me 21.2 million dollars. Do I do it? My mayor score has now moved up above 4,000. TV viewing figures hit new all-time low. Really? That's interesting. I'm thinking I try it out. Worst case scenario, I could sell it back off. Residents aren't concerned about tax levels. All right, there you go. We're at negative 49. But didn't I already have one of these somewhere? I could have swore I had one of these somewhere over here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm thinking about the uh, the power plant over here or something like that. I just need the economy to pick back up, man. It's just it's just down in a rut, and I just can't fix it. $10 million there. Uh, global economy outlook is moderate. I mean, can I throw up some more things over here somewhere? Possibly something, maybe. I can throw up another winery. <laughs> throw up another winery or... Uh, let's see. Last month we spent $3.4 million on welfare payments. The best way to reduce this is to create jobs, therefore decrease the number of people claim. Do you not realize that we have not had to deal with unemployment in God knows how long since I've been mayor? And my approval rating is now dropping to 40 freaking percent. I don't know what people are expecting at this point. It's like, de de decrease the amount of welfare. What the frick do you mean? There are, the, no one, no one is, is unemployed. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Help increase the amount of jobs. I have plenty of jobs. We don't have enough people for the amount of jobs that we have at the moment. So stop complaining. Love of God. All right, the economy went back to good. I'm trying to, let's see, let's look at the, uh, housing. Why are people not happy about housing? What's wrong with housing now? We have places, don't we? What the frick? I don't get it. We have 5,000 places. What's not to be happy about? I don't understand. I don't, people are weird in this game. They really are. They really are. I mean, let me check the, uh, let's check the, the mayor race again. I'm probably, like I said, my approve rating just continues to drop. Things were looking really good at one point. And then now everything's just absolute dog crap. <laughs> I can't even... Let's see. Actually, it's not Rick that's gaining on me. It's actually Joe of the uh, Dim Lib Party. She's gaining on me. So she has 29% of the approval. Rick Rogers actually fell off because I think he had 29%. So it switched between the two of them, actually. All right. That's interesting. <laughs> that is quite interesting indeed. I think... Should I lower taxes maybe to help with this whole thing here? I mean, I feel like... I don't think the tax rates are that high, to be honest. But I guess we could... We'll drop tax rates like 1% per everything. I think that's going to cost me my, uh, my, my profit that I had here. It may, it may not. I'm not exactly sure. Because I, I still don't get to see what it was at all. Because of the things that are going on. So, yeah, there's that. I wonder if I could put up... What, I should put up another winery on, like, another side of town. I think that would probably be a good idea. Put up a winery over by the beach. That would be nice, you know? I forgot what space I need for it. I think I need a either a medium space or a large space. I need this. It's $5 million. I said I wanted to put a golf course over here, too, didn't I? <laughs> uh, let's do... Let's do the winery. It's a little bit less, you know? A little bit less. I'm going to sell off the... The Refuse Collection Center. Uh, City Gallery presents Whistler's Mother. What the frick is that? I don't know what that is. Alright. So now we're at negative $43 million after that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mayor Peters of Frankfurt is the world's number three mayor. Economy set for slow growth. City Museum in Edmonton has been commended for showing an ever-increasing uh, range of exhibits. I'm glad. Cultural festivals uh, enjoyed by all. Didn't we? Don't we have those? We have some type of festival that we host every year or something. I think I'd made that a policy decision. Singapore to host uh, International Book Fair. Why does everybody else get all the good things, right? I get Jack Squat. <laughs> we don't. We we pay money for for things, events, and don't even get them. It seems like no one really cares. City Museum shows the Pharaoh Treasures exhibit. Uh, good for them. <laughs> good for them. We're like halfway, almost halfway through the month, and I got no interest payments so far. I got payments for eighty thousand, but that was it. Ah, oh, boy. Economy set for slow growth. At least it's some growth. It's better than freaking nothing at this point. I guess I can say. 
What now? Visitors pour in for City Marathon. Are they actually pouring in for the marathon, or is it just saying that they would? I'm assuming it's saying they are pouring in for it. Now, 81,000 people. But uh, I'm going to end it here, guys, and I'll see you in the next one in the month of February.